Hey, I'm Matt with Meat Church. Let's grill a steak with our brand new Blanco seasoning. Well, you guys know I love steak. Cook it multiple times a week. And honestly, there's a ton of ways to do it. I love reverse searing it. I love a sous vide. I love putting it in a high heat broiler. But honestly, nothing really beats just cooking a steak over a live fire. It's that simple for me. So that's what we're gonna do today. But I'm really excited uh, because this is why I developed this steak shake about five years ago. Um, our, our seasoning Blanco just came out recently. Um, we say it's for steak and everything else because I have witnessed my wife over the past few years put it on literally everything. And I'll tell you a little more about that at the end of the video. Uh, but we developed it for steak and so that's what we're gonna do. So I've bought a beautiful New York strip here from my local HEB, nothing too fancy about it. And I'm just gonna season it up. So while I'm doing this, the flavor profile of Blanco is it's salt, pepper, garlic, onion. It's got a little bit of butter in it. Uh, it is delicious is what it is. It's a great base. If you like something a little more peppery, um, I also love adding holy cow with this or just straight pepper, but I, I love it just like this. And you're gonna find that you can season so much uh, in your kitchen with this, like all your vegetables and things like that. And then, like I said, I'm gonna show you that a little bit later at the end of the video, but use the board, get all of the edges. Normally I would let that adhere for at least 15 minutes or so, but I'm making a cooking video and I'm starving. So let's head over to the mill scale and get to cooking. So how we're gonna cook this today, we've got a ripping hot fire and a mill scale yakitori. And I'm gonna sear this steak about two minutes per side in a pan to build a really nice crust. Then I'm gonna ditch the pan and I'm gonna cook directly over the fire, just flipping that steak every 45 seconds to minute until it reaches my desired internal temperature. I like my steak medium rare, which is 130 to 135. So I'll usually pull it about 125 internal temperature because that steak's gonna continue to rise a few more degrees. My wife loves medium, so I cook hers to the higher 130s or so. All right, we're gonna let that steak rest. And while it's resting, we're gonna let it rest at least 10 minutes uh, so the, the juices in the steak redistribute throughout the piece of meat. It'll be a juicier bite for you in the end. So we're gonna make some chimichurri while that is resting. Now we have chimichurri recipe on meatchurch.com, but I was gonna show you another easy thing you can do. My buddy Al Fragoni makes uh, his own chimichurri, his dry seasoning that you actually just rehydrate and make it super simple. Uh, we sell this in my barbecue supply shop, Meat Church Barbecue Supply, you can get on his website. You do equal parts of the mix and vinegar. So I'm gonna do three parts. And I'm gonna use red wine vinegar. Let it sit for two minutes, and then you put twice that many parts of olive oil in. So three parts of this. I'm gonna mix that up, let it sit for two minutes, and then I'm going to add the olive oil. You're good to go. All right, it's been a couple minutes, so now uh, let's add, we did three parts of that, so we'll be doing six parts of oil. Super easy, really delicious. Looks beautiful, smells good. All right, here's the deal. What's my favorite thing to drink with a steak? Bourbon. So I'm gonna go get some bourbon and I'm gonna grab my sides that I've also made with Blanco to kind of illustrate the versatility uh, of our new favorite seasoning. And then we're gonna see how we did. All right, well, I got some brown water to go with my steak here. I'm a member of the Dallas Bourbon Club. We're a charity organization, do a lot of good for a lot of companies and uh, a lot of causes, I should say. And I couldn't really decide, but I just decided I'm going well or single barrel. Always a good choice. And then, uh, man, this chimichurri turned out great. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Delicious. I'm already winning before I have the steak. Uh, oh yeah, before I put this on, let me talk to you a little bit about everything else that you see here. So this is, this is exciting. So our new seasoning that came out recently, Blanco. This is a meal that I cooked, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago for my family. 
And what I thought was interesting, this actually wasn't planned. Yes, I seasoned the steak with it clearly, but I also seasoned my cast iron Brussels sprouts with bacon, recipes on meatchurch.com, uh, sauteed baby bell mushrooms, uh, my smashed potatoes here have the seasoning in it, and my tomato mott salad. Salad is actually a huge use for that seasoning um, when I witness what my wife does. So like I said, it was developed as a steak shake originally about five years ago, and then over the years of it being in my house, I've watched my wife grab it and put it on everything. So kind of shows you how versatile it is and everything you can use it on in your kitchen. But let's jump in here uh, with the chimichurri. You can dip it or you can pour it. I just think it looks nice just like this. Look at that. Beautiful. And I don't need a fork. I already cut the steak up. I did cook this one a little further than I would like it personally. My wife would like this because she likes closer to medium, but it's not going to suck either way. Good Lord. That is insanely delicious. I never try to sell my stuff. This Blanco seasoning is awesome. It, it's got a great saltiness to it. Um, it's awesome. That's. I love it. It's my new favorite way to make steak. The chimichurri is delicious. Whether you do it or don't, this is a winner. You guys got to try this. Um, all these recipes are always on meatchurch.com. You can get our new seasoning at meatchurch.com. Anytime you buy directly from us, it's been in a bottle like two, three days. It's the freshest seasoning in the market. There's also a dealer locator there. As always, when we launch a new seasoning, it's direct to consumer first for the first couple weeks. So you get the freshest, best experience, but it's headed out to our retail partners. Um, so you guys can hit the retail locator and you can support them and buy local and get it there as well. Like and subscribe your subscriptions or how do we continue these free uh, weekly videos. See y'all next time.